Whenever you open an image inside of Adobe Photoshop, it will appear inside of something called an image window, quite literally a window into your artwork where the majority of your edits will take place, either painting over, removing blemishes or adding text and juxtaposing your layout. It's signposted by what's called a document tab at the upper left hand side of the interface. It tells us things like the file name, the document format and the zoom level, in this case, 100% but you can alter this. We can go to the view menu at the top of the screen and you can choose either zoom in or zoom out to change the magnification of your artwork. If I was to click on this command, it would zoom in. Note that I could always use one of the keyboard shortcuts on the far right hand side. Command plus or control plus on a PC would do the same thing. And that takes us into what's called a zoom increment. Now we're viewing this artwork at 200% of its original size. And you'll also notice that down at the very bottom of Photoshop, we have a field where we can type in a zoom level as well if we wished. So if I type in 50 and press return, now I'm viewing my artwork at 50% of the original size. If you go to the view menu, you can choose an option here called fit on screen. And that will ensure that all of your artwork is visible inside of the image window. You can also change the screen mode in Photoshop, either from the view menu and then down under screen mode, we have three options to choose from, or you can go down to the bottom of what's called the tools panel on the far left hand side. If I click and hold down my left mouse button and you'll see in here, this is the standard screen mode where we have our image visible and some of the tools in Photoshop around the edge of the screen. If I click on full screen mode with menu bar, then what it will allow you to do is release your image so that it can be visible anywhere in the background and your tools and your options around the edge of the screen will always appear in front of that piece of artwork. If you click and hold down on that same icon again, you can choose to go to full screen mode. This will hide all of your tools. You could either preview your artwork here on screen and you could even edit in this mode as well. Say if I want to paint for a prolonged period, but I don't want all the tools in the way, I can still do that in this mode. From here, if I wish to exit, I can either hit the escape key on the keyboard or I can actually just use the F key on the keyboard, F for Foxtrot. Tapping on the F key will cycle me through those different modes, standard mode, standard mode with the menu bars and full screen, and then back to standard. So many of the options you'll find under the view menu and they'll allow you to preview or explore your artwork in greater detail.